I hit my aspiration for parkour way earlier than I thought I would. So it's got me a bit confused. This is scary. What is your greatest achievement in parkour? I can't really pinpoint an exact thing, but kind of like where I am now is probably like my greatest achievement because it's shown that because I've stuck to something, I've got myself to a point where I'm kind of living like my dream as a kid, but I didn't even think about it as a kid. I wasn't like planning anything. I was just like, do parkour as much as possible. And then, um, yeah, I kind of got myself where I am today. So I think that's probably my greatest achievement. What's the scariest thing you've ever done and why? Um, can't remember the last time I was actually properly scared. Probably breaking something. I, keep, I break a lot of things, I'm quite clumsy, so. I feel like whenever I've been most scared, it's because I've broken something that someone owns and I'm really scared to tell them. But I can't be specific, but that happens a lot. What do you hate in capital, in bold? Um, I hate not, not being like truthful to what you mean or what you want to mean, which sounds really deep, but that's just something that really pisses me off more about myself when I'm not like, fully 100% me because of something stupid. Because if you do that for the rest of your life, then it's like, what's the point? What do you love? Brilliant. Um, what do I love? Like I'd say I used, to, I used to love parkour, and now I more love like everything kind of about parkour. Like it's not really just doing it that is the thing I love anymore, which is completely fine. Um, but it's kind of what I'm doing now. But obviously I love my family and I love all my friends and all that sort of stuff, so yeah. Do you think you have balance in your life? Um, no. Why? Uh, um, I don't think I have balance in my life yet because I have a really bad sleep pattern and I don't consistently eat well. And I don't really stay on top of how I'm feeling. So it like builds up and then I don't really control it and then it just kind of like ruins stuff. Whereas if I just concentrate on having balance, then there's never like an overload of anything. So I don't have balance in my life now, but it's kind of what I think everyone's working towards. And that's fine, but people got to recognise that because I think a lot of people just say they have balance in their life, but they don't. They're just saying that. What's your ideal day? That's really hard because probably for the past few years, that's something that like really gets stuck on my stuck in my head, and I don't like thinking about it. Maybe I should think about it, but sometimes I wake up and I'm like, what would, or before I go to sleep, what would my ideal day be? Because I wanna make sure I'm spending every day doing my favorite things. Um, so I don't really know what my ideal day would be. Days should be different all the time. So I think that's, I think there is no ideal day really, as long as you're coming out of it positively, I think. What are your aspirations for your career in parkour? Um, this is gonna sound really weird to compare it, but when people become like millionaires or they get somewhere really quick, you then like kind of forget why you're doing it and there's, it's really hard to figure out where to go next with things. And I do kind of think that I hit my aspiration for parkour way earlier than I thought I would. So it's got me a bit confused. And I think that's why I've been so on and off with parkour as well, because I don't have a clear 
thing anymore. Um, which has made me realise you do kind of need to set th- you need to set some goals that you're never going to get to to make sure that you keep up what you enjoy. But if I if I take out the word career in parkour, I'd say my aspiration is just to find a way that every time I do parkour, I'm enjoying it rather than getting pissed off because I'm not getting better. But yeah. What's your greatest achievement outside of parkour? Probably when I was younger doing a lot of like dance stuff, being, well, being on TV a few times, which was fun, but weird looking back on it because I'm older now, so it cringes me out. But back then that was like massive achievements. That and also like, I don't know, getting, as stupid as it sounds, getting the main part in our school production when we did Bugsy Malone and I was Bugsy and that made me really happy, so that's probably one of my greatest achievements. Do you consider yourself to be competitive and why? I'd probably want to say no, but I think yes. I don't know, I wonder why people in general are competitive, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I can probably see more negatives and positives, but maybe it's more like a deep-rooted thing that you're trying to prove something. But if I'm ever 1v1ing, Anyone on Call of Duty, I get very competitive, so. Okay, last question. Hopefully it's good. The hardest battle you faced in parkour? Probably being injured. I know that this probably means like an actual thing that I've done, but the hardest battle I faced is ages ago fucking up my ankle. And everyone gets like long-term injuries and stuff, but because that changed the way I trained. And it just took so long that now and then I just thought, ah, I just need to stop doing parkour. Or, yeah, I know. It was a really weird time and it took way too long. So I think that was a ridiculous battle. But yeah. Oh, it's making me shake like talking so much. I'm being put on the spot. It's horrible, but it's all right.